Welcome to Watrous, Saskatchewan for a multi-day look over a couple of seasons. Highway 2 in the foreground here. This is the main line of the Canadian National Railway. The line was surveyed in 1906 by the Grand Trunk Pacific. And the rails were laid in 1908. This is Railway Avenue, also Highway 2. And the famous Burger Corral. This being about 130 miles from Melville, the Grand Trunk Pacific decided to make this the end of a subdivision. So erected a roundhouse and coaling docks, water tower, made this town a booming place. Look at up the highway there. A lot of those vehicles belong to Mainline Motors, one of the biggest GM dealerships on the prairies. The elevator here is, was built in 1974 by Saskatchewan Meat Pool, and the annex is built in 1925, although maybe not for the pool. Saskatchewan Meat Pool didn't have a presence here on the 1924 map, but they're shown on the 1933 map. And looking north up Highway 365 to Manitou Beach and the healing waters of Little Manitou Lake, about 5k away. Nice new arena, hockey rink. And Waters treasures its railroad heritage. There's a statue of section men at the end of Main Street where station would have stood. West side of Main. Grand Trunk Pacific surveyed this township and this town site in the fall of 1906 and put lots up for sale in the spring of 1908. By the end of that year there was 27 businesses on the site. In 1910, there was dozens more, anchored by the Union Bank and the Bank of Commerce. There was two hotels, the Manitou and the Tourist. There was the east side of Main Street, and the 1935 post office building, now private offices. In 1910, there was a volunteer fire department organized, there was a telephone exchange, there was dentists and doctors and druggists. The Majestic Theatre, Stevenson's Jewelry, Beyond All's General Store. There was a water signal was being published. There's a bowling alley, a pool hall, two churches, the Presbyterian and All Saints Anglican, and five lumber yards. And the old United Church looks like it dates from the early 20s, late teens, maybe formerly the Presbyterian. Town offices are on the Civic Center here. The village was incorporated on October 15, 1908, and Watrous became a town December 30, 1909. St. Anglican and its famous medieval windows. The modern post office. There was a post office here since 1908. The town used to do its own policing, but in 1942, it invited the RCMP to take up those duties. There's the detachment headquarters there. And the cenotaph. Potash mining is big business around here now, but the little red whirligig reminds us that farming was the basis of the economy for many years. Farming settlers began trickling in in 1903, but when the Canadian Northern built its main line through Humboldt in 1904. Lots of people came in. By 1906, most of the good arable land was taken up. Water sits right on the boundary between a big lump of ridged moraine to the west, kin to the last mountain, about 40k to the southeast. To the east, there's the bed of an ancient glacial lake, rich farmland good soil around here and they're still building a little fox Union Hospital was open in 1948 and there still is oh watch out 
There still is a medical center here, sometimes even with doctors. The little Norwegian Lutheran community of Mandal, which was established just west on the right of way, was absorbed by Watrous, of course, when the town site was laid out. People of Mandal just dragged their buildings up to the new town site. And it looks like Watrous is quite the baseball town. Nice parks. Pretty town in Watrous. This fella is skating northwards towards Manitou Beach and the cemetery. The Grand Trunk Pacific invested a lot in Watrous area. Besides a seven stall roundhouse, in 1909 the company built a modification of their standard number two terminal station that cost $9,000. It was at mile 129 from Melville on the Touchwood subdivision. It was demolished in 1986. Oh, big junkyard. Wow. And greetings from one of the Canadian Nationals, many SD40-2s. This is Parasiding in the P&H Elevator, built in 1997. This is more industry to the south side of town. Parasiding is maybe five miles south. And looking an overview of town from the south. And believe it or not, this was and still is a tourist attraction in Waters. This is the main transmitter of the CBC on the, in Saskatchewan. First broadcast, July 29th, 1939, 5,000 watts, 540 megahertz on the AM band from this 465-foot tower. Interestingly, Watrous is almost exactly halfway across Saskatchewan, equidistant from the Alberta and Manitoba borders. Named for Frank Watrous Morse, the general manager of the Grand Trunk Pacific back in the 19 aughts, Watrous, Saskatchewan.